You like how new preferences are born continually within you. You like knowing that the universe is all queued up to give you the full manifestation, fruition, completion, accomplishment. See it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it of anything that life has helped you to define that you want. Do you, do you like knowing that? Yes. If only you believed it. <laughs> Well, if this time space reality has the wherewithal to help you to identify a desire, then this time space real reality and all who are involved in it have the ability to yield to you, to reveal to you, to offer to you a steady trail, a path. A path that you must find a way to be the path of non-resistance. A path, a steady, unfolding, delicious, comfortable, fun-filled, winding, twisting, turning, adventurous, enjoyable, satisfying, fulfilling path. And we think sometimes that what hangs you up is you would like a quick, direct path. Just get me over there because I'm unhappy over here. And the thing about that is you can't get to happy over there from unhappy over here. Because unhappy over here has your attention and your attention has you offering a vibration. And the vibration that you're offering, if it doesn't match where you want to go, won't take you there. Oh, the path continues to unfold and all of us who are aware of you, who know who you are, who know what you're asking for, who know who you have vibrationally become. You see, we understand how the contrast of life has caused you to identify the specifics of who you are and what you want, where you want to be, how you want to feel, how you want to live. All of that is known and our attention the attention of your inner being, the attention of all that is non-physical, the attention, if you will, of something that you say all the time and you don't even know what it means, the powers that be, the energy that creates worlds, the attention, this benevolent, loving energy, force, supporting you, uplifting you, knowing you, and most of all, knowing right where you stand, right here, right now, in relationship to who you have become. So you came into this body, but all of you didn't come. A part of the consciousness, this, this, the consciousnessness that is you, a part of the consciousness that is you, focused here in this physical body. But the larger part of the consciousness that is you remains non-physically focused in that stable, non-resistant place. So when life causes you to know what you don't want, which causes you to launch a rocket of desire about what you do want. The larger part of you is in on all of that. In other words, in this deciphering of who you are and where you are going process. Source is in on all of that. So you're launching these rockets and you are vibrationally becoming. And the reason that we want to point out that you are vibrationally becoming is because everything is a vibration before it is a manifestation. Everything is a vibration before it can be interpreted through your physical senses. And there are lots of ways that you interpret vibration through your physical senses. What you're seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching, all of that is vibrational interpretation. You're just really good at it. So good you don't even realize that you are doing it. But everything, hear this, everything about the reality that you know as your reality, everything that you are seeing in this world and living in this world, you and everyone else around you, every bit of it is a realization of vibration. So what we're really talking about is interpretation. What we're really talking about is your readiness to see what's always being revealed to you because the path of least resistance, the path of most abundance, the path of most fulfillment, the path of most fun, the path of most adventure, the path of most you who you really are. That path is always, always 
projected with such clarity from those like us who know who you are, who know what you want, who know where you are in relationship to what you want. The question is, are you in the receptive mode? Are you in the receptive mode of the clear path? And the answer to that is mm, a variable. And it just doesn't vary from person to person. It varies within you from day to day, from moment to moment. And you can tell what your receptive, what your receptivity, what your receptive mode is about by the way you feel. Your mood is your receptive mode indicator. So if you're discouraged, if you're bummed out, if you're depressed, if you are feeling like a victim, if you're feeling like other people are doing things to you and preventing you from getting what you want or having what you want or being who you want to be, then you've got a vibration going on that is the reason that your path isn't lighting up for you in a clearer way. And clarity, clarity really is what you're shooting for. You know what it feels like when you can't make your mind up about something? Should I or shouldn't I? Uh, that split energy is the most uncomfortable experience of all experiences. Split energy, wanting it and doubting it. That's split energy, wanting it, but not believing that I can have it. Wanting, wanting it and resenting other people who have it. Wanting it and feeling, feeling without it. That's split energy. So then you often say to us, with your words and with your vibration. Well, Abraham, isn't it logical that if I want it and I don't have it, that some part of me must be aware that I don't have it. And we say, yes, the part of you that's keeping you from getting it. <laughs> but Abraham, I want it and I don't have it. Do you want me to look stupid? Yeah. Do you want me to pretend I have it when I don't? Yeah. Do you want me to act as if I have things I don't have? Yes. We want you to find the feeling place of what you want, which means you got to find some way of conjuring it. But if you just stop beating the drum of not having it, that would be enough. You don't have to proclaim things you don't have. It's hard on you in your society. But it would be helpful if you would stop pointing out what's missing all the time. Because when you're pointing out what's missing from your life that you want, you keep the what's missing active in your vibration and you prevent it from coming. So you've got this push pull going on or this pull push thing going on. I want it, but. So you call it, you prevent it, you call it, you prevent it. You ask for it, then you don't allow yourself to see it. And because you don't allow yourself to see it, these are the words we really want you to hear. You sometimes don't allow yourself to see it. You don't allow yourself to see it. Somebody else isn't preventing you from seeing it. Somebody else isn't withholding it from you. Someone else else is not standing there as the obstacle that you make them out to be. Now we know how it feels that they are the obstacle because before they were there, you didn't feel so bad. Before you started tripping over them, you didn't feel so bad. But until you accept that you are completely responsible for your receptivity, you're not responsible for what other people do and other people do a lot of really dumb things. There are other people doing things out there that if you all took a vote, most of you would vote. They shouldn't ought to kind of sort of be doing that. They haven't ought to be doing that. In other words, we get it that there are people doing things that you don't like. And we're not saying that you should like them. But we are saying you must stop making those conditions over which you have no control be such a big part of your attention because your attention to what you do not want holds you in a resistant state and keeps you, and this is the operative word, out of the receptive mode. And if you're out of the receptive mode, then it doesn't matter how many clues we're giving. Hey, it's over there. Go this way. Go over there. You'll like what you find. Tell me what it is or I won't go. That's how you act. Okay, I'll play your silly. I'll pay the price of happiness if I have to. So what we want you to accept 
And words don't teach, only life experience gives you understanding. What we want you to come to accept is that you live in a vibrational universe and that the powerful law of attraction manages all of the vibrations and that you are a focusing mechanism and therefore you are a vibrational being and therefore you are offering a steady vibrational frequency and the universe is responding to the frequency that you are offering so there are two ways that you can tell what's coming by the way you feel and then a little later on by what came so if you got stuff in your life that you don't want you got some cleaning up to do but what it really is we don't want you to dig into yourself and figure out what you're doing that is wrong because all that does is practice that frequency longer what we want you to do is find things that feel good to focus upon we want you to tune yourself to the frequency of who you really are little by little and we want to say to you, let yourself off the hook because law of attraction is not going to let you get very far from how you feel because how you feel is as a result of what you've been offering. And there is a momentum already underway. You know about momentum, don't you? If you get moving in a direction and momentum is happening, you're not going to stop all of a sudden. And if you do, it's a problem. It's a brick wall or a tree or a cliff in other words you really don't want to stop momentum suddenly but you do want to get your momentum moving in the direction of what you are wanting and it is possible at the same time that you have momentum going in the direction of things unwanted you can begin momentum in the direction of things wanted and that's something that we want to emphasize with you in a strong way here today you are source energy in physical bodies and you have a strong momentum of well-being going before you came into these physical bodies that's a powerful momentum that momentum will carry you on into eternity that's the vibration that is really who you are it is a vibration of well-being and you can tap into it anytime you choose to with a little bit of attention and a little bit of desire to feel good and some willingness to do whatever it takes to feel good cannot be a sloppy thinker you can't just be one who runs around and observes what is and comments about it because that will keep your vibration all over the place it will cause you to activate within yourself on a daily basis so many contradictory vibrations that you never really get a bead on your path of least resistance your path of least resistance is being offered to you but you can't find it because you're swirling in the confusion of all of the things that you are randomly focused upon and that's because we love you so much. You know what's coming next after we say that. That's because you are such avid observers of what is. Somebody has convinced you that the reality of what is is what matters. And we say that's old news. What is is old news. What is is old news. But as you keep focusing on what is, talking about it, blogging about it, joining chat rooms about it, talking to your girlfriends about it, or your boyfriends about it, or anybody about it. As you talk about, about what is, you just hold yourself in that holding pattern where what you prefer cannot be seen by you. Oh, it's being revealed to you. Oh, the path is there for you. All kinds of forces are moving things into place. We love you so much, but it seems so odd to us with all of the obvious signs that you do not see them because you're not in the receptive mode you're looking for trouble rather than solution you're looking for problem rather than solution you're you're amplifying questions rather than expecting answers and of course you're not doing this all the time there is so much in your world that is working well but you know what a lot that is working well is working well for the same reasons that a lot is not working well in other words, if there's something good, you observe it and more good comes. If there's something not good, you observe it and more bad comes. In other words, you're sort of, you're sort of observing. You're observing reality and in what you came here to do was to create reality. Not one of you said, I'll go see what that got going on. Sort it out. Oh, that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. I'll sort reality into piles. Good things, bad things, Democrats, Republicans. Good things, bad things, good things, bad things, good things, bad things. And we say, in your sorting process, you make yourself a vibrational match to all of it. And then you keep getting all of it. And so, 
What you want to do is care about how you feel. 